everybody God is so good and truly the Lord's mercy it endures until the end I want to let you know tonight that God loves you hallelujah and I want to talk to you about the graciousness you know the goodness of our let us pray God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that your anointing would flow. And Father, I pray that you would speak through me so that your people would be edified and that you would be glorified. In the matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. In the Gospel of Luke, the first chapter, I want to begin reading in your hearing from verse 26. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. Hallelujah. I came to remind someone tonight, your favorite. I came to let someone know tonight, hallelujah, that God's goodness has been poured out on us, his graciousness, in that we are now in right standing with God. And our right standing, you can say, is even connected to what happened here when Mary said yes to God, hallelujah, and allowed God to use her to birth the savior into this world and when the savior came into this world we know what happened jesus hallelujah paid the price for our sins he rose from the dead and now we are seated with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, we are now in right standing with God because of the blood of his only begotten son, Jesus. Hallelujah. And now we too, just like Mary carried the Savior, we have the Holy Spirit inside of us. The one that speaks through us. The one that gives us the strength and the ability to be witnesses unto God. The one that gives us the power to do the will of the Father. So again, Again, I want you to know tonight that you are highly favored and I want you to know just as the angel as he was speaking to Mary when he told her that she was going to go if you read a little further in the text she would go and visit her cousin Elizabeth he had begun to tell her that Elizabeth was in her sixth month and the angel began to say in verse 37 I'll read to you for with God, nothing will be impossible. I want you to know, hallelujah, because you are favored by God, because you are his very own, because you are a carrier of the Holy Spirit. If you have given your life to the Lord and you are his child, hallelujah, I want you to know tonight again that the goodness and the graciousness of our God has been poured out out on us and he has invested so much in each and every one of us when he gave heaven's best how much more will he do for you so I want to encourage you tonight to walk in faith I want to encourage you tonight to tell others about the goodness of our God I want to encourage you tonight 
or with God again, nothing will be impossible. Again, verse 30 says, Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sin. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.